up till now, I never played Animal Crossing before. It was always either a Pokemon or some fighting game, nothing else. I played a lot of games in my day. So when my boyfriend introduced me to Animal Crossing New Horizons, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know, because I could never commit to those type of games like Sims. Like I would play, but then I get bored because there's like nothing much else to do. So I just don't play them again. But yo, Animal Crossing New Horizons was everywhere on social media. Like, I had no idea that this game was that popular. So after seeing all of that jazz and some possibly light peer pressure from my boyfriend while I was recovering from my surgery in a pandemic, March 2020, I said fuck it and I bought the game when I was able to afford it. And that is the journey of my addiction to Animal Crossing. I got so addicted to this game that I neglected doing my artwork for a couple months. Sorry guys. I would play every single day, morning, noon, and night, because I have so much to do in that game and also I have something to actually look forward to in the game. And let me tell you, I went ham on this game. I caught bugs and fish for the museum, grinded for bells by selling shit so I could pay off my house loans, and buy some cool stuff. The rich life chose me. I picked weeds from the ground like a knee freak that I am. Not the illegal kind, the, the ground kind, I promise. Eventually, I was able to terraform my island. Yo, it was because of that that there were times where I would play until 7 in the morning, terraforming my island. Is, is that normal in Animal Crossing, which is supposed to be a chill game? Please, please tell me, because I, I think I need help. I posted pics and videos of myself playing Animal Crossing New Horizons on Twitter and shared some funny moments with my villagers and the progress of my island. I feel like my island is pretty decent right now, but comparing it to other people's islands that I've seen online, I debated whether or not to reset my game. I mean, it's not like I played over 850 hours on Animal Crossing New Horizons, right? I have a problem. But that's not the worst of it. The biggest thing that worried me later on was the villagers in my island. Uh, before, I didn't know about certain mechanics for villagers in the, in the game since it was my first time playing Animal Crossing. I didn't know that you could keep looking for villagers until you find someone you really like instead of picking the first one you see. I didn't know that you could close the game and keep talking to a certain campsite visitor that you want until they choose someone that you want off your island. That was my case with Cherry and Murthy. I am so sorry, Cherry. I didn't know better. And I definitely didn't know that when a villager that you really like asks to leave, you close the game without finishing the conversation and play normally without talking to them and have the thought bubble transfer to someone else the next day until it's someone you don't mind leaving. Oh, Lily, I'm sorry. But hey, I found Apollo while trying to find her sisterly villager because I was so stupid to let Cherry go. D do I have to explain why I took Apollo? Look at this beautiful bald eagle of a man. Like, oh, I am definitely keeping him forever because one, he is daddy and two, he is just so amazing. But here's the thing, I had no idea that there were a lot of villagers. I think it's like 300 or something like that. That many villagers out there that I could have gotten like Apollo. And the more I learned about it, I became very, very picky. And I started to get irritated by or started to get bored of certain villagers who were on my island. That's where I started to regret letting Cherry and Lily go. So I decided to redeem myself by kicking some villagers off my island. The first villager that I officially yeeted off my island was Lyman. He started to really annoy me and oh my god. Just, do I need to explain? I, I can't. I, I couldn't for my life stare at him without wanting to strangle him in the ocean. And 
I didn't know how annoying it was to have two jocks in my island. Boots was my starting villager and he's kind of annoying because all they talk about is working out. But he's more tolerable than Lyman because I've known him since day one. Alright, I know some people actually like Lyman and I respect it, kinda. But to me, he was just so annoying and I, I wanted him gone. So one day, I kicked him out by accident because I time traveled a few days in the game. <laughs> Listen, I didn't want to wait a week to move six houses and to demolish or build a bridge or incline while building my island, okay? So that's what I did and that's what got him to leave. So when he asked me to leave, I was like, good riddance and press the good luck option real quick. I replaced him with Tammy because I still needed a sisterly villager and uh, Tammy gave me some fives like in the Bronx when I saw her. I'm from the Bronx so I took her home with me <laughs> and she's great. She's not cherry but she is certainly better than Lyman I'll tell you that much. I usually had bad luck with the campsite but one day I checked the tent and it was Diana, the queen. I knew right then and there that I wanted her in my island. So I fought hard and closed the game a few times until she mentioned Murthy. I already have Apollo as my cranky villager, so I immediately said, Yas girl, move into my island. And the best part of all of that is, she's my birthday twin. Like, girl. Yes, January 4th, baby. So that's how I was able to redeem myself for trading Cherry away for a cranky bear cub. Murthy was, I, he is all right, but Diana is queen and Apollo is king. Also daddy, I stand forever. I also kicked out Caroline and Olive. I like both of them. They're, they're cute and really sweet, but it was time for them to move on. I kicked Olive out with an amiable hack that my boyfriend showed me. My boyfriend is a technical nerd and also picky like me. And I replaced her with Sheffrey, who is adorable. At the same time, I let Caroline go and started villager hunting. And dude, on my 25th ticket, I found Rosie. Rosie! I was like, fuck it, you're coming with me, girl. Like, how could I not? She is not only cute, but she's a cat! A cat villager. Come on, you, you can't pass that up. Am I right? Come on. But because I took Rosie, I had two peppy villagers. And there's only room for one star. So, Nibbles, I love you, but you're on a chompy block list. After Caroline and Olive, Mallory was the next one to leave. And although I liked Mallory, Diana is queen. So I let Mallory go and went to villager hunting again. Bruh. Seven tickets in. And I found Sherp. I swear to God, I was debating whether or not to keep going because it was just, just so soon, you know? But I couldn't just leave him like a total asshole. So of course I adopted this beautiful blue goat boy. And oh my god, his house! His house is so cute! I had to make his little yard the same way. Oh! I'm sorry, Jeremiah. I love you. But Sherb is new baby now. Oh, and speaking of Jeremiah, he asked to leave sometime after Sherb arrived. And it wasn't the first time that happened. He asked many times before. And I always said no because he was baby. But... It was finally time for me to let him go and grow up to be a big boy. So I let the little blue frog leave my island and venture on his own. Now the villager hunt for his replacement was a roller coaster. I wanted to find either another smug or lazy villager or Lily. Specifically and preferably Lily. I searched and searched but to no avail. I even turned away Tia, Maple, and Melba. Melba! All because I wanted my sweet, adorable little frog back. After two hours, I was about to give up until I found Eric. Eric, y'all. 
on my 77th ticket. I was switching Nook Miles back then. I thought about it and after thinking it through, I decided to take him instead of letting Tom Nook pick a rando and take another two or more weeks to kick that person out. It was worth it because Eric's house is real chill if you ask me. <laughs> And his side yard that I made for him matches his house perfectly. But what about Lily? Oh, don't worry. I summoned her through the amiable hack, but a sacrifice was needed, and Nibbles was the chosen one. Goodbye, sweet princess. I hope you'll be a pop star on another island. So what am I doing now with this game? Well, aside from the burnout after going harder on this game, I still plan to complete the museum with new bugs, fish, and art from Red whenever he comes. There's still gonna be updates to be installed in the game later on, so that's something I look forward to. Please don't be like yesterday, Jesus. Traumatized from that shit. I still kinda wanna do some villager hunting, so if anyone else wants to go, then they can go. Pitch of boots! I might change up my island a little bit here and there, like rearranging gardens or fixing up some areas just to boost some aesthetic because I am low-key jealous of other people's islands. And since I play it on a daily, I try to grind for some Nook Miles because your girl need them tickets, getting new items or songs that I haven't gotten yet, oh, and gifting my villagers for a chance to get their photos. I just got Rosie's photo, baby. I'm just waiting on Lily, Chevry, and Sherb. Yes. I took a quiz a while back on Twitter to see what kind of Animal Crossing player that I am. My results were pretty accurate. I got the collector. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a collector. And that just wraps up my addictive experience with Animal Crossing New Horizons. Holy mother of goodness this was kind of long but it was fun to make if you managed to watch this all the way through you are forever the true vip and i thank you so much for that some videos aren't getting a lot of love as they should so i highly recommend you guys to check them out it means so much to me since i worked really hard on them and i was i'm not joking when i say they need just as much love they, they i appreciate all the love for the glitch tail videos uh, uh, thank you thank you thank you I, I bow down, but uh, my other stuff needs some love too, so if y'all could do that for me, I totally appreciate it. Thank you. Seriously, they need a lot of love. As always, thank you for watching, don't get too addicted to Animal Crossing like I did, and stay safe. Bye!